Hey guys, I'm Foxkiller here. Just want to remind you guys to check on the description and read the information on what gameplay I'm going to do for this series, The SS Human Revolution. That's all. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, I'm Foxkiller here. We are back on The SS Human Revolution Part 27. And we are back on the Detroit Street near the Adams apartment. So the main quest is right here where the last few, I think the on the, I think it's the part the part twenty five, where I came out from the Adams apartment. Here. I went up here, and there was a rooftop. Oh no, it's a this area, which actually Isaac's. You sure apart you oh. someone there? Oh shit! Isaac, Isaac's apartment is there. It's right here. Well. I did some goofy shit. Come on. Oh, oh what? Oh, okay. What's down here? I'm curious if below here was what's what's down here? Nothing. No, that was a waste of time. Oh. Well one of them is is missing. There's one guy inside that room there, and there's a mine beneath the dead body. I'm gonna save first. Yep, I'm not gonna fall for that trap. Oh! Show yourself! Oh, oh shit, it's reloading. Show yourself! You're gonna... Shut up, man. Oh man, I need a pink here. I had the old safe replace, it was an old Polizar, okay. So let me throw something here. Let me take this thing, then I need Where is it? Oh. Thank you. Oh, I'm still walking. Wait, let me check. Okay, there's nothing else here. Except for the safe. Five, four, six, three, two. There's a two. Oh. Okay, that's enough. Wait, actually, there's something here. Am I supposed to find something here? Richard, looks like Sandoval's got a secret bunker. I'm gonna flush him out. Let's hope he's still there. Yeah, why would anyone come down here? I 
think they're afraid someone's gonna try to sneak a bomb into the Doc's locker. I'd be more worried about what's in the Doc's head than what's in his locker. Yeah, I'm gonna try my best to do stuff, guys, for this episode. Wait, there's two of them there, and they're not moving. This guy is sitting down. That was dope. I should have not done that. Must have imagined it. Stand Moving. Shut up. What the? F uh. What the hell? That's another sewer. So this take is leading to where? to find the secret. Oh, this is the one. No, never mind. Forget it. Okay, let's take it slow this time. Oh, that's a lot of enemies. Okay, let me save. Gotta do this slow guys. Real slow. Ooh. If Sandoval doesn't come out in a few minutes, I'm going in. Oh, geez. Damn it. What happened? Get help. Call the boys. Well, I just treat your alarm. Let's do that again. <laughs> God damn it. Shit. God damn it. See a combat here. What's this? Okay. If Sandoval doesn't come out of there in a few minutes, I'm going in. No, you're not. He's on the edge. There's no telling what he'll do. More of a reason to go in there and talk to him. Hell no. I don't want to walk in on him. He might get scared and stop popping off shots. Just let him sort out this mess by himself.
Okay, three. Two, one, two, three, four. That's four people. Okay. You know what? Screw this shit. I'm gonna use this thing. Wait. Someone over there? What? What the oh, shit? Don't tell me I need to press the damn thing. Okay, this is the last time I'm loading the game. Should have done this. God damn it. So pissed off on myself. Keep feeling. <sighs> So this guy had a code. Okay, hang on, let me see. It was damn easy. I still, f I still feel. God damn it! What? And this is why I urge every member of my staff, every man and woman dedicated to the true mission of the Humanity Front, to do the same. I say yes. If you're watching this, I beg you, do not allow misplaced anger to destroy everything we have struggled. Achieve. It's over. He knows I can't come back from that. Everybody knows, Sandoval. You can't hide from what you've done. What I've done, Mr. Jensen? I spent years patching people back together from augmentation botch jobs and systemic organ rejection brought on by implants. And now, because of Bill's betrayal, I'll never practice medicine again. You really want to help someone? Tell me where Sarah's scientists are. I wish I could, Mr. Jensen. But my involvement ended right after I failed to remove their GPLs. You failed? Turns out, my surgical skills weren't good enough to bypass David Sarah's insurance policy. So for all I know, those little implants are broadcasting right now. On a frequency so low, your network specialist wouldn't think to look for it. You change the frequencies. You have your answers, Mr. Jensen. And I've lost all of mine. The courts may think I have much to atone for, but my court will be a higher one. How about I take that gun with me when I go? You got everything you came for. Please, no. just leave. Believe it or not, I'd rather you didn't kill yourself. That's because you have no idea what tortures I've endured. The guilt, the shame. I was told the scientists would be used to find a peaceful solution to the augmentation crisis. Instead, I was involved in kidnapping and murder. My life ended that night. It's time for me to go. Think about it. Are you really in such a hurry to face that higher court of yours? At least there are no lies before God. Did you see that abominable press conference? William Taggart all but accused me of terrorism. He claimed that all the violence committed in the name of our cause was the result of my influence. So stay alive long enough to tell him your side of the story. He already knows it isn't true. I trusted that man. For years I gave him loyal service, and he betrayed me. 
He sacrificed my freedom and good name to save the reputation of his organization. It's no use fighting him. He'll just spin it again. At least if I die, he'll never be able to use me again. So tell your side of the story to the press. Swear at your trial that you're a better person than him. You want a peaceful solution to the augmentation crisis? Every camera in the country is going to be pointed at you. Use it to make a case. Convince people. Bill Taggart already controls public opinion. You can try to lift my spirit all you want, Mr. Jensen, but the facts don't change. My whole life, all I ever wanted to do was help people. But as a doctor, I couldn't heal those who'd already replaced their natural body parts. So I joined Humanity Front. But we weren't making any progress. Those scientists no represented my last chance at having a meaningful life, and I failed! Uh, shall we go this? So you've had a couple of setbacks. Your reputation is shot and you're going to jail. Fine. Killing yourself is not the way to find redemption. At least behind bars you still have a chance to help people. You're smart, healthy, and educated. You know that. Or knew they had. Ha. Huh. Some doctor. Some Catholic I turned out to be. Planning and participating in a kidnapping that resulted in the deaths of innocent bystanders. I am a mass murderer. Oh, shit. And my wife, I, I don't deserve her. Losing her is a just punishment, except I'm not man enough to face it. You could throw out your excuse for white killing yourself is the right thing to do, but the truth is you're lazy and scared. All the reason you do is so well, nothing but bullshit. Yeah, I am both now, so that was it. Okay. You think you're a failure, but you're not. You're just a man who doesn't understand his own potential yet. You can still channel your regrets into something positive. Be an example. Teach people why violence isn't the answer. You've suffered way too much to let all that experience go to waste. I don't understand. We're enemies, but you want me to live. I deserve to die. In fact, I welcome it. But you won't let me go that easily. You've assigned me a task I cannot <sighs> refuse. <laughs> Take the gun. I thought you, you I thought you were gonna kill yourself by the spot. <sighs> Pritchard, get this. The GPLs are still transmitting. Sandoval switched them to a lower frequency. But but they could be broadcasting anywhere in the world. I don't have the type of equipment we'll need to find them. It's our only lead, Pritchard. You have to do something. I know. Listen, the riot's still blocking the street entrance. Head back to your apartment and Malik will fly you over. Maybe by the time you get here, I'll have figured out something. You don't need to babysit me, Mr. Jensen. I have no intention of killing myself anymore. Nor will I resist arrest when the police arrive. I assume your people have already contacted them? If they haven't yet, they will be soon. Then go. Use the information I gave you to track down your scientists. With any luck, they will still be alive. The men who kidnapped them? The soldiers? I don't know who they were. Only last names. Barrett and Namir. I sense they were highly trained professionals. Working for who? I didn't ask. My brother, Ezekiel, put them in touch with me. Your brother? Not Taggart? Bill wouldn't be so stupid as to get his own hands dirty. I see that now. He's like Teflon. Okay. Nothing ever sticks. If I knew anything more, I would tell you. 
But the men who kidnapped your people made sure my knowledge of their plans was minimal. You don't need to wait with me, Mr. Jensen. I will not resist my fate when it arrives. Just go and find your people. With any luck, the GPL implants will still be active. Okay. Outside the doors of such well known biotechnology firms as Kusanagi. Ooh, I managed to save him. Now it's time to go back to Alpha. I'm gonna take the footage pin to show some performing crude. Oh, seven. Two Alright, see you guys later. Oh, shit! Damn it! Alright, gonna cut the video. See you. Alright, we are back in uh, just Jason, in, uh, the apartment here. He's going to the roof now. <coughs> back with uh, the Jason apartment building we're going to the helipad right now Ooh, classic hello everything's quiet here mr jensen nothing to worry about the hills come through it uh my leg and then Nice landing. Yep. Nice detective work, Jensen. You ready to return to HQ? Yep. Yeah. Let's hope Pritchard's found that frequency. You said it. I got a message for you, Jensen, from Pritchard. He says he's not in the office. Great. So what exactly am I supposed to do? I don't know. He said you should check in with the boss. Okay. We'll do that. Even if it was true that we were breeding a bunch of augmented soldiers and training them, what do they think stopping us from going home and throwing a bunch of rocks is gonna do? Well, I guess they want the UN to see how mad they are, so the delegates will do something about it. And we're just workers anyway. Whether the footage is real or fabricated or not, the people who shot it are more powerful than they can even imagine. Think they care what the people think? My dog must be starving. <laughs> the hell? Jensen, I just heard on the scanner. Cops were in a shootout with the Purity First cell, right under our feet in the sewers. Yeah, what's that? Jensen? Uh, rumors going around. Just about Megan and her team actually being alive. Aww. Uh... You'll find out soon, anyways. Oh, hello. Anyways, I need to go outside again to the helipad. Because I remember there's this room where there's a level 5 hacking. The can last forever, and we'll be free to go soon. But my car, what if they vandalize it? I just got a new paint job. It'll be alright. Just be happy that you're safe. You have your health. That's all that's important. Oh, God. Do you think the company would cover the damage? The hell? I doubt it. Any word on when we can you leave care the about your car, not your life? Jensen, just who I wanted to see. What? What do you want? Can you move my car? Probably not, huh? You be a prime suspect yeah. out there. Well, I want to move your car. Yeah, here, here it is. This is the place. Level 5. Now I need to stay. I hack that thing.
Alright. Um, you know what? I'm not gonna risk it for this. No, never mind. I was going to risk it, but eh, whatever. Access granted. Shotgun. Oh, there's a lot of stuff here actually. What's Yeah, that's a good go. Come on. Wouldn't want to be augmented and be out there right now, or be caught wearing a seraphim. No, right, we're on the way to see Seraph. Let me see. God damn. Just in case. Oh. Seraph? David's just stepped out for a moment, Mr. Jensen. But do come in. I've been hoping to meet you. Mr. Darrow. I'm surprised you even know who I am. David speaks very highly of you. He says that when it comes to detective work, you are like a dog with a bone. Have you found your scientist yet? What else did David tell you? Over the years, plenty. But today I'm here as a friend and fellow scientist. Things are getting quite turbulent out there, wouldn't you agree? So many people drunk on revolution. The United Nations being urged to intervene. And all because of the technology I created. Things have come a long way since then. Haven't they? And now my old friend David wants me to lead us to the promised land. He's asked me to invite members of the UN to Panchea, to convince them we don't need industry regulation. Your geoengineering project in the Arctic Ocean. The installation couldn't have been built without the assistance of augmented workers. And when it's finished, my little hole in the ocean is going to stop global warming. A lovely photo op, wouldn't you say? If it works. You mean, if it doesn't kill us all? Adam? You're back. Uh, can I speak to you outside? Get to the helipad, son. You're going back to Hengcha Island. Frank tracked down one of the GPLs. Only one? Is it? Sevchenko's. But Adam, we had to call in a favor of the DOD to do it. Meaning, the conspirators probably know I'm coming. You're Adam Jensen, right? The security chief here? Your men did a good job securing this building when the riot broke out. If anyone would have been able to breach the front door, we would have had to deal with them harshly, if you know what I mean. Right, and you have to shit. Oh, wait. I thought you had the same shit as Adam Jensen. Wait, where's, where's that woman? 
not my. I'm just gonna. Because I remember correctly, there's something on this. Wait for this. Uh, computer. There's this email. That's just a name that most people will recognize it. Uh, what the heck, I just gonna go through this. Surprising. Uh, oh, never mind. Let's go to soon. Access granted. Done. Margulis, yes, that's the name. Okay, I don't think this is the one. Ah! Lucius Tobias. Who is this sentence about Lucius Tobias? Do not put that man through to me again. I, mean, I don't care how much money he has or how important his company is or what. Nothing to do with him or the rest of his present. I keep this one thing, I thought I feel that I'm going for the police. I'm not about to start this into them now. Yep, I was right. It's the Luminati leader. Anyways, back to our main mission. Where's my sniper? No, I'm not planning to move that. Okay. I have two EM to do it, okay. Should be enough. Shit, I can't equip, equip the weapon here. Seriously? Ah oh, well, that's the reason why I'm doing this, preparing all my grenades and weapon. Because the next mission will be something I need to do, is to save her. I think I'm gonna do in the next, ah never mind, okay, I'm gonna do it now. I was planning to do it in the next video, but never mind, I still got time. Boss said we're heading back to Hangsha? Pritchard tracks up Chenko's GPL signal. If he's alive, there's a chance the rest of them are too. That's a pretty big leap, Jensen. We've been making big leaps for a while now. Whatever you say. You ready to get going? Yep. Let's go. No time like the present. Let's get going. Then hop in. Hmm. I'm sleepy. Bad news, Spy Boy. Spy Boy? Hengshaw traffic control just revoked our clearance. We're being rerouted to another part of the city. I don't like that. I suppose you can't just ignore them. <laughs> yeah, right. Chinese government, I've got to comply. Bravo Echo Echo 008, proceeding to designated coordinates. We've got a sandbox on our tail. <laughs> Jensen, all systems are down. Oh. Hang on, we're going in hard. Jump, Jensen. Malik, we've got company. I know. But the bird took some damage. Gonna need to patch it up before I can go. I'll stay and cover you. Negative. You need to get away from here and find Dr. Savchenko. I'll be fine. You'll be a sitting duck. Maybe, maybe not. But this is your best chance to slip by them unnoticed, and you know it. So get out of here, Jensen. Come on. What the heck? Oh. 
Malik, we've got company. I know, but the bird took some damage. Gonna need to patch it up before I can go. I'll stay and cover you. Negative. You need to get away from here and find Dr. Savchenko. I'll be fine. Don't be a sitting duck. Maybe, maybe not. But this is your best chance to slip by them unnoticed, and you know it. So get out of here, Jensen. Jensen, the bird's fixed and I'm taking off. Now get on with the damned mission. And thanks, bye boy. Jensen, I've been monitoring calm activity around Hengsha. Bell Tower's looking for you. Hard. I know. They ambushed us, Pritchard. Forced us to make an emergency landing. Malik barely got away in time. But they're supposed to be... The good guys? Just give them a wide berth, Jensen. If they recognize you, they'll shoot. <laughs> 